I should probably do a talk about why Biden is so dominant in the black vote. We should probably talk about that, shouldn't we? Mississippi is, pardon me if I'm wrong, a pretty black state. Yeah, black black boomers. Young people are like across the board in favor of Bernie. There are there are a lot of yeah, Mississippi outlawed slavery in 2013. The Mississippi Mississippi um kept slavery legal, waited for Obama to get elected, thought, "Eh, it's a fad," and then waited till the end of the second uh, election for a second term before thinking, "Ah shit. Guess we got to get rid of slavery." <laughs> um the um Vosh, earlier you asked if the state was mostly black because this is some low IQ voting. No, wait, don't paraphrase. I said, I asked if the state was mostly black, and then I said something like, I guess I'm racist now because this is some low IQ voting. I think that the way I phrased that pretty clearly indicated that I was making like a self-deprecating joke. But if that isn't what I said, or if I phrased that poorly, let me clarify. Everyone in this country, except for me specifically is a low information voter. Every single person in this country, except for me, uh, regardless of race, age, uh, gender, I don't care. Um, now, it has been a point on Biden's record that he has a really, really strong like black support base um, for a while. And I have actually seen some unironic racism um, in left-leaning communities, that kind of makes me cringe a little bit. So let me, let me distinguish here, okay? Here, this is not racist, okay? Here's what's not racist. If you say, oh God, the black vote is going to ruin us, or oh God, why are the, the black people voting so bad? I don't necessarily think that's racist. I don't, I don't think that's racist. I mean, after all, everyone who votes for Bernie is good. And people who don't vote for Bernie are bad. That's how it works, right? But there are people who have been saying stuff like how black people are low information voters, but like specifically black people. Or about how like black people aren't informed. Or like they're like, I even saw a few people saying like um, that black people like, you know, don't know as much about politics, Ex you know, explaining why they don't support Bernie. And I want to be clear, not, I've seen not many people saying that about black voters. I, I have not seen many Bernie supporters saying that. So I'm not, excuse me, sorry. So I'm not saying this is like some huge problem on the left. Um, racism will always be a problem least on the left because we fight against racism more than any other you know that's always something to keep in mind anytime you say sexism is a problem on the left racism is a problem on the left transphobia is a problem on the left it should always be considered you know with the follow-up with the suffix the the addendum of but less of a problem than everywhere else. Important to keep that in mind. But I'm not going to downplay this. I just want to say this very clearly. If you think that, like, black people are, like, dumb and that's why they're voting for Biden, fuck off with that, okay? Seriously. Here's the reason, and it's pretty simple. Here's the reason why black people are overwhelmingly voting for mostly older black people, and mostly in the South, too, voting for Biden. There are a couple of reasons. The first and most obvious one are that he's the Obama guy. This is just a fact. The vast majority of the American black population voted for Obama. And, you know, for pretty good reason. Black people have been treated pretty shit by this country. I imagine it was pretty fucking cool for a lot of black people to see a two-term black president for the first time. I, I'm, I'm not shitting on them for that. Like, I, I get it, you know? Um... And Joe Biden's association with Obama is going to, in that respect, ramp him up. Um, his, uh, but more, more substantively, um, it's because Joe Biden, by being part of the Obama administration, is a part of the better time. You see, a lot of older black voters, especially in the South, have been fucked 
by this country. They don't get shit from the government. They, ha they form these very insular, these very tight-knit communities with their other, uh, you know, with their other black neighbors. Very often they tend to be poor because, you know, socioeconomic disparity, blah, blah. And they have learned just not to trust big promises from the government. So they vote conservatively. They vote for harm reduction, and they're very susceptible to electability arguments. The establishment has been pushing the argument, you know, the DNC media, that Biden is the most electable candidate against Trump. So they, being particularly susceptible to those arguments, because they are in a position to be hurt most by big promises, vote for Biden. It really is that simple. So I want to clarify again, it's not because they're dumb or whatever, it's because the material conditions they have been subjected to have made them much, much more, what's a good term for it, much more distrustful of big promises, risk averse, cynical, jaded, thank you guys, thank you for coming in, coming in clutch, I really appreciate it. They have, they're more risk averse, they're more cynical, they're more jaded, they're more conservative. That's another big one, by the way. A lot of older black voters in the South, let's not mince words here, are pretty fucking conservative socially. Um, a lot of them tend to be anti-abortion, a lot of them tend to be homophobic. I mean, that's the case with a lot of boomers and a lot of southerners, but also, I mean, let's not fucking lie here. Um, uh, uh, the, the trans stuff, you know, not really landing there. I've spent a fair amount of time in the South. My anecdotal experiences obviously aren't like descriptive of the entire black Southern voter base, but um, especially the older ones, not really in with the hip kids, uh, Sanders with his trans flag outside the office door stuff, you know? Um, they just tend to be in Latin communities too, which is one of the reasons why it's the younger Latin communities that have really been coming out for Bernie Sanders, because they tend to be more on that social progressive stuff. But if you're a... Southern, black, generally low-income boomer, you know, and you tend to be very religious, you know, there's a reason why Democrats go in and, and give speeches at those black, you know, those black churches down in the South, specifically why they target there, because those, those black churches are like a, 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 a nexus of the black communities down there. Um... Uh, uh, um, there's a reason for that. Just the whole, um, the whole material environment surrounding those black voting groups, um, predispositions them towards vo voting for Biden. Now I want to be, I want to be perfectly clear here. Fuck them. Fuck them. I don't give a fuck if your material conditions predispose you to voting for a shit candidate. Fuck you. Vote for Bernie Sanders. Fuck you. Just to be perfectly clear, I'm not going to I'm not going to sit here and say like because that's racism in the other direction. If I'm pointing at all these dipshit white like rust belt fucking boomers who are voting for Biden saying, "Yeah, you piece of shit." And then I point at the black boomers down the south and I'm like, "Oh, well, they can't help it. It's the material conditions. They don't have any control. They have to be, you know, socially conservative and incredibly cynical when it comes to voting for progressive candidates." Nah, fuck that. No, no, no. I my vitriol gets spread like like confetti all across uh, the political, racial, gender, age spectrum. Um, there were a lot of people, too, who said that um, Pete Buttigieg's lacking black support was in large part of because of the black community's homophobia. And some people said that was racist. But I say, maybe it was racist. But also, a lot of the southern older black community is pretty homophobic, having engaged with them, you know, to some extent personally, and knowing how the um, political demographic plays out. It's important to remember that while there are no intrinsic differences between us because of race, race enforces upon us different material conditions, uh, as does gender, sexuality, age, everything, uh, wealth certainly, um, which can affect the odds of us voting for given candidates. And if I'm willing to condemn the voting tendencies of wealthy white people, that I'm, if, if it, you know, leads to them voting for Trump, then I am damn sure willing to do the exact same, the poor black Southern older folks, uh, if it leads to them voting for Biden. 
but don't be fucking racist about it. That's the reason why. It's not because black people are stupid. It's not because black people are specifically low information voters, not any more so than any other community of, of that like age, I guess. Um, it's not because they're here in the echo sign, you know, low education. See, because it's, it's a dog whistle when said like that. It's just material conditions, folks. That's it. So that's the clarification. And that's why right now uh, Biden is currently uh, uh, bent Sanders over his knee and is absolutely just just spanking Sanders um, in the in the Mississippi primary results thus far. Admittedly with 2% reporting, but I have a feeling this pattern is going to pull true. Vosh, doesn't being homophobic make someone kind of stupid? There's a big difference between uh, saying, hey, uh, there's a huge difference between saying, hey, people are, who are homophobic are dumb, and saying, hey, the black community tends to be homophobic because the black community is dumb. There's a very big difference between... <laughs> There's, there's a very, there's a very big difference between uh, the framing and the outcome of of these of these arguments. You know, 